Well, it is main event time now, ladies and gentlemen. And this has been quite the rivalry since WrestleMania over the Money in the Bank briefcase between Tendencies and Brian Adams. Brian Adams believed that he should have beat Mr. Money in the Bank as he says that he took the most risk in that matchup and Tendencies didn't do much. Yet Tennessee's won Money in the Bank. He said, it's up to you. You can take it the way you see it. You can win. You can decide whoever you believe deserves to win Money in the Bank, but the fact of the matter is this. Mr. Money in the Bank is that man right there. Tennessee's. Tennessee's can cash in Money in the Bank at any time he wants on any champion. I mean, after Brian Adams versus Helios Christ, he can cash in Money in the Bank and become a world champion. He can cash in Money in the Bank tonight. He can cash in Money in the Bank before that match of a Judgment Day. At any time, when at the snap of Tennessee's fingers, just like that, Tennessee's can become the next World Heavyweight Champion right here on MWF War. Well, each and every week, the MPWF crowd, the MPWF fan base seems to get behind Brian Adams. Brian Adams, who was booed before in his career. Getting quite the opposite crowd reaction of his girlfriend, Michelle McCool. I mean, since, I mean, showing his relationship, his friendship with Zack Ryder. Brian Adams has become a fan favorite here on MPWF War. It seems that a few fans would like to see Brian Adams achieve his dream, achieve his goal, and become the next World Heavyweight Champion here in the MPWF. It's very possible. Brian Adams, the most improved superstar of 2010, can kick off 2011 in a big way by becoming the World's Heavyweight Champion in Judgment Day. A big opportunity for Brian Adams this Sunday. But first, he has to tackle his rival tendencies. Well, some fans may say that Brian Adams is indeed jealous of tendencies after winning Money in the Bank, but that doesn't matter as Brian Adams is the number one contender for the World's Heavyweight Championship. And as we've stressed before, Judgment Day is really a night for youngsters. It's really a night to see how the future of the MPWF will deal with the, the pressure of being on top of being in the main event. I mean, you got such a young kid in Brian Adams challenging Helios Christ for the world title. On the Annihilation side of things, and usually I don't talk about other brands on the same show, but I mean, just for this whole young young man fact of Lethal Mathematics, the third youngest superstar in the MPWF, he's going to be challenging for Craig Davis' MPWF title judgment day. I mean, it's a big opportunity for the young people of the MPWF to step it up. But even though on, on, on a non-title range, what about K Knight and Joe Eagle? K Knight just came into the MPWF. He just won the MPWF car contest a few short weeks ago. Yeah, K Knight is going to be taking on one of the biggest, baddest sons of bitches in the MPWF, Joe Eagle, at Judgment Day. I mean, the young superstars in the MPWF really pressing the fact, really pushing on the fact that they deserve to be here. They deserve to be on top. And here is a beautiful single leg takedown to an ankle lock, and Brian Adams in control of his opponent right now. Tennessee's. Oh, what a kick there by Brian Adams. Tennessee's needs to try and neutralize Brian Adams. It's going to be difficult. And Brian Adams is a big dude, ladies and gentlemen. This is no small man. He is massive as hell. And now Brian Adams is going to hit that. Hurrah! Wow. Rope pump jaw breaker there on Tennessee's now going for a cover. Tennessee's in trouble, but there's a rope break as Tennessee's able to grab onto the rope. And Brian Adams, Tennessee's going to reverse there, send him to the turnbuckle. And oh, there's a shoulder thrust into Brian Adams. Wait till Tennessee's utilizes that spear. That will be it. But going for an inverted DDT off the top rope there. Off the second rope, sorry. And hooks a leg. Going for the cover here. One, two. And Brian Adams able to get the shoulder up. So a great night of MPWF war we have seen so far. A big boot there by Tennessee's. We found out at the beginning of the show after that abrupt start that SBM are going to be taking on the Golf Click Society on the pre-show, the Sunday Night Medal. Plus on Superstars, there's going to be a super, or a war tag team pre preview match showing off the superstars of the tag team division as four, a member from each of the four tag teams here at war going to be taking part in a fatal four-way match on Superstars. That's going to be one hell of a match. 
We saw the Divas Tag Team matchup. Helga and Michelle McCool getting momentum into their Divas title matchup against Sasha Fierce at Judgment Day. And now Tennessee's with a spear there up the top rope, taking down Brian Adams. Now is he going to go for a cover here? And Tennessee's deciding not to, deciding to punish Adams more due to the rivalry that these two have with each other. Or knocking Brian Adams off the apron onto the announce table. We saw the debut of Reese Bobby and Brian Barbados here on war. Reese Bobby using the brass knucks and the sharpshooter to help himself become victorious. Or shot there by tendencies. Joe Eagle got retribution on Kane Knight. Ricky Cash and Chandrella Johnson. One of the most. Actually, I don't even know how to describe what the hell they did in their mixed tag team match, but nonetheless, that set up their matchup. Against, against Lamar James Jackson at Judgment Day for the United States Championship. Tommy Douglas has officially been signed to the war brand and will make his debut next week on war. So this has been one hell of a show tonight, one hell of a broadcast. And now we're here with our main event between Brian Adams and Tendencies. And Helios Christ still has a surprise tonight. We still have to see his surprise in there. Brian Adams rushing to get in the ring there on a seven count. And Adams with a beautiful blockbuster driving Tennessee's face first to the mat now looking to go for a cover here Tennessee's up oh there's a boot there by Adams Adams now gonna bring Tennessee towards him in a power slam takeover there nothing but brute strength by Brian Adams now Adams gonna send Tennessee's back into the turnbuckle this crowd cheering for Brian Adams and now Brian Adams missing the drop kick as Tennessee's able to move out the way here Tennessee's now fights back with the DDT this is one hell of a main event we're seeing here on War. Again, as we said before, if you if you want to find out what the theme song for Judgment Day is, it is Young Cardinals by Alexis on Fire. Again, I will repeat, Young Cardinals by Alexis on Fire. So don't say I didn't ask you because I didn't tell you because there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's the theme song for the third time. Young Cardinals by Alexis on Fire. With Tennessee's heading to the top rope. They're looking to descend on Adams, waiting for him to get up. Brian Adams struggling here. And Tennessee's off the top rope here. Brian Adams able to knock him off the way, though. It's a great matchup, a great warm-up match for Brian Adams before Helios Christ at Judgment Day. And now he fights back with a net breaker. Now Adams going to send Tennessee's into the ropes. Brian Adams now with a hit toss takeover there on Tennessee's. Now Brian Adams dropping the elbow there on Tennessee's right in the gut. And now got him up here. Brian Adams... Wow, what a move there by Brian Adams. What a move there as Brian Adams takes out Mr. Money in the bank. And now, going to go for that drop kick to the face. Two boots to the face there by Adams. Big kick. And Adams, wow, what an arm drag take over there by Adams. Brian Adams has the momentum on his side. Brian Adams now going to bounce off the rope. Ladies and gentlemen, pay dirt. And Tennessee's goes face first on the mat. Brian Adams hooks the legs, goes for the cover, two, three, and Brian Adams defeats Tennessee in the main event of war. Look at these replays of this matchup between these two adversaries. Brian Adams turned it up in the last few seconds of this matchup. Really brought the pain to Tennessee with this arm drag here. A deep, deep arm drag. And then here comes a pay dirt. Watch as Tennessee's face bounce off the mat. And Brian Adams is hoping that all he has to do is that. If he can do that to heat those Christ at Judgment Day and then look at the leg, he will win. He will become the next World Heavyweight Champion here on MPWF A very, very big victory for Brian Adams. And Brian Adams has got to be happy for two reasons. A, momentum is flowing, is flourishing on his side heading into Judgment Day. But B, he defeated Mr. Money in the Bank and it seems he is Put this road to rest here on MPWF I'm War. A girl, that's just too much for you to handle. My man, and here we are, ladies and gentlemen, gonna head to the backstage to find out Helios Christ surprise. Hang on a sec, that's Zack Ryder. Oh, wait, Helios Christ attacking Zack Ryder from behind. And Zack Ryder trying to fight back against the world champion. And Helios Christ punching away at Zack Ryder. Oh, my God. Good grief. Good grief. Helios Christ just putting Zack Ryder's head through the, the windshield of that car. 
Good Lord. He knows Christ. God damn it, this man's a sick bastard. 